In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, you are all welcome to this moment of a brief reflection on the Word of God for this Holy Family Sunday, Year B, with Father B.T. Today, the readings invite us to reflect on the sacred nature of family life and embrace the divine principles of love that guide it. As such, we shall reflect on the theme, Nurturing Holiness and Harmony in Our Families. In the first reading from Sirach, we learn that honoring our parents and supporting them in their old age is a source of happiness and blessings. The responsorial psalm reinforces the idea that those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways will experience His abundant blessing in their families. And in Colossians, we see in our second reading, St. Paul provides guidance on virtues that should clothe the Christian family. Mercy, kindness, humility, patience, and above all, charity. And finally, in the gospel, the holy family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph exemplifies obedience to God's law. And so these readings put together, woven together into this theme, give us certain practical implications for our Christian life that we live in our families. And I want to talk about three very important implications here. Number one, they need to cultivate a culture of respect and support. Families are the bedrock of society and honoring our parents, supporting one another, and fostering an environment of respect are key to its being successful. Now, practicing forgiveness, mercy, and kindness within the family strengthens its foundation. Cultivating this culture of respect and support finds its root in the biblical principle of honoring parents. In Exodus, for instance, chapter 20, verse 12, the commandment states, which is the second command, the, uh, honor your father and your mother, the fourth commandment. This commandment underscores the importance of recognizing the role and authority of parents. Practically, this involves actively listening to their wisdom, providing support in times of need, and ensuring their well-being in old age. Just as Joseph honored and cared for Mary and Jesus, modern families are called to emulate this culture of respect and support, fostering an environment where every member of the family will feel valued and will feel cherished. Number three, prioritizing love and harmony. St. Paul advises in Colossians, emphasizing the importance of love, patience, and thankfulness within the family. Let our homes be filled with the peace of Christ, and let our actions, whether in word or deed, reflect the love of Christ. Now, St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, 3, 12 to 21, provides a blueprint for prioritizing love and harmony within the families. The virtue of mercy, the virtue of kindness, the virtue of humility and that of patience contribute to the atmosphere of love. The practical reality is that families, like any human relationship, may encounter disagreements or conflicts. These are natural. However, the emphasis on forgiveness and love allows families to overcome these challenges, promoting an environment where peace prevails. Can our families be said to be this good? The love within the Holy Family, exemplified by Joseph's love for Mary and Jesus, serves as a model for families seeking to prioritize love and harmony in their daily lives. And we are called upon to emulate them so that our families can be like them, especially the care of Joseph, for all fathers and heads of families. Then finally, they need to embrace divine guidance. Like Simeon and Anna in the gospel, families should recognize the presence of Christ in their midst. Regular prayers, scriptural readings, and seeking God's guidance collectively 
ensure that our families are aligned with divine principles. Now, the call to embrace divine guidance in family life echoes through the gospel narrative of holy family, particularly in the obedience of Joseph and Mary. Their openness to God's plan, despite the challenges they face, exemplified the importance of seeking and following divine guidance. Now, practically, families can embrace divine guidance through regular prayers, through scriptural readings, through designing of God's will in decision making. Now, this not only strengthens the family foundation, but also ensures that its actions are aligned always with God's purposes. As the Holy Family sought refuge in Egypt, in obedience to God's directives, all our families, modern families, we can find inspiration to trust in divine guidance amidst life uncertainties. God has a way of always directing us towards the way out of the challenges that we face. If we allow him to be in charge of our families, then we shall find refuge. So as we navigate the challenges of the world, let our families be beckons of God's law, breaking down barriers of division and showcasing unity in diversity for the sake of Christ. So wherever we find ourselves, those family challenges that we have, just as the baby Jesus had to flee into Egypt, we see Joseph relying on God's guidance. Let us all rely on God. Families are a gift from God. It's a sweet place to be. It is an example of that great family that shall be when we finally Behold the beatific vision. So, as we struggle and face the challenges of our families, let us be encouraged through the example of the Holy Family of Nazareth so that our own families too could be a perfect reflection of that of Mary, Jesus, and Joseph. We pray that God will give us the power to be able to respect His guidance, follow them, and will lead us to safety. And may God keep all our families out of every form of trouble. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, and with you remain now and forevermore. Amen. Do have a very wonderful Sunday celebration and a fruitful week ahead. Never forget, Jesus loves you.